Hello Capricorn, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. I'm gonna be doing your general reading. Let's see the person on your mind. What do they think and feel for you? Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign in Capricorn plus Ross Watchers. Let us see. Person on your mind, their feelings, what are their thoughts, new love, whatever it is that comes in. Mind that this is a general reading, so take what resonates and any what does not. For personal readings, white spells of premium charge crystals, reach out to me on WhatsApp Instagram or email. Read the details in the description box to reach out to me under this video. And follow my Instagram at inubla.in for free monthly horoscopes, feedbacks and much more. Let's see the messages here. For a once, your person literally wants a relationship. There is no doubt. Whoever this is, they want a relationship. Okay, that's very clear. I am seeing um, the Fool card. Yes. Okay okay they don't want to make efforts they want a relationship but they don't want to take the responsibility they love their freedom but at the same time they want you i feel like they want a relationship but they don't want marriage are you getting me they don't want something that is uh like having kids like uh you know promising lifetime future and taking responsibilities the whole you know building a family all of this is like kind of tough for this person but they're in love with you this person does love you but they're fearful that you will someday expect a com commitment a, a serious one a, like a long-term commitment they're happy with you they love traveling with you they're having fun with you they're in love with you but the commitment thing that is something like a long-term commitment thing is making them crazy aquarius this could be an aquarius Please clarify the Ten of Wands, the Nine of Wands. I feel you're tired of trying, you know, to convince them that you want something more. And this person is just like kind of ignoring this. Yes. You guys may even end enter into a fight where you might end up putting a pressure on this person that you want something serious or else leave my life. Okay, that's the energy oh i'm seeing okay the thing is there is someone in the picture here that is coming between you and this person capricorn aquarius maybe this is an aquarius but there is someone that is coming between you and them and i feel they were in a relationship or happily married to that person but now they want to leave that relation or leave that marriage because the other person has become highly toxic and they're creating a lot of problems between you and this person so it is not them the reason why they have drifted away or this ended into a fight between you and them is because of the third party there is 100 percent surety that the third party is creating troubles for both of you but the love is there love is mutual trust me there is third party that's causing this problem let's see how do they feel for you yes somewhere they're feeling under pressure and they really need space they really want to be on on their own so that they can know what they, what is going on in their life and what they need to do next this person is stuck they're not able to get that person out of their life they're scared that wherever they go this this third party keeps following them okay there is some connection that is why they keep following them and they are not knowing how to get rid of this this third party they're tired of this third party coming after them like crazy this could be a pisces i'm seeing this person is like you know they're just that is the reason why things are pretty stagnant between you guys what do they want from you the hermit they want you to be patient understand them they're scared that you may not trust that this person is wanting something more but there is a third party interfering i feel like they do want a relationship they do want marriage they do want something serious but they have to completely close the chapter from the past that they're not able to close the more they run away from that person that person tries to get more information about them and tries to create problems between you guys so trust me the only reason why this connection may go haywire is because of this person's ex or this person's current relationship that they're trying to come out of they're stuck they're not able to leave the other person they want to have a new chapter with you but they're they're they really need space right now they want you to understand them 
What do you feel about them? How do you feel about them? They see, otherwise they see you as someone that is humble, that's grounded, that's down to earth, very caring and nurturing soul. You feel like this person just doesn't want commitment. You feel like, you feel like you have a very straight uh, thought about them. You think that, a very clear thought that they don't want marriage. They don't want commitment. That's how you see this. You think that this person is not looking for anything serious and you're just wasting your time. You don't want to make efforts towards this because you think this, this is going to be a waste of time if I make efforts towards them. They're just making up stories so that they don't have to end up marrying me. This is what you think. Okay. So that is what is going on. Let me see what is this person going to do next. You do want marriage with this person or you do want to get married. What is this person's next step towards you? You want to get married to this person. I can see that. They want marriage for sure. Their next step towards you the sun okay capricorn this person will no matter how many times the third party keeps interfering i'm seeing they'll still keep coming after you and they'll still try to work on this connection and promise you that they will make this work okay this could be a gemini this could be a leo this person wants a new beginning with you they want to make this work all right and they want to have a happy new beginning with you okay so this person is waiting on the right time to make a happy new beginning with you but they're keeping you around they're trying to make you happy they're also making sure that you trust them and you be by their side no matter how tough the situation gets so this person is in love with you this is mutual love is mutual trust me you both love each other especially this person loves you a lot and they can't let go of you but the problem is this third person highly toxic and narcissistic. Who is this third person? How are they linked with them? They're in love. The third person is in love with your person. Okay. And they are extremely... Um, I feel like uh, your person left this third party. And... Uh, because there was not enough love. Let, let's be honest. The, the reason why your person left this third party is because they weren't feeling the same way as the third party was feeling towards them. So they became toxic. And they're trying their best to disturb this connection or destroy you guys from coming together. They want to destroy this connection basically. Because they feel rejected. Okay. By your person. There's a lot of jealousy, I feel, this person has towards you, their ex towards you. Yeah, high priestess. Okay, let me just do it again. Let's see what is the most probable outcome between the two of you. This person, what is the most probable outcome between the two of you? The death. The two of wands. Oh my gosh. Okay. And the king of pentacles. This might not work out, guys. Let's see why it won't work out. Why is this, Why is there a death card? I'm seeing you dating someone new. You're tired of waiting and waiting for this person. You feel like um, this is not going to work out. feel like you will make up your mind despite of them trying their best to convince you that yes wait for me I, i'm seeing that you're tired and it's getting really toxic for you and it's affecting your health or will affect your health which makes you decide that you don't want to deal with this stuck situation there is no yes there is no no so you're stuck somewhere in between you don't want to be there some of you dealing with a scorpio you want to leave the situation for transformating for transforming your life but this person will be trying their best to contact you revive this connection ground this connection promise you marriage all of these things they will be doing but i'm seeing you're deciding to dating date you will be deciding to date other people okay you will be open to new love dating okay so i'm seeing you will also have new love offers coming towards you while you're dealing with this person so that can distract you also because you're not able to see this thing working out let us see how is this person seeing you right now
they feel you're defensive you think that they have cheated on you they know this thing that you feel you don't trust them and just being honest with yourself so you're being defensive you're avoiding them that's how they're seeing you they know you're right on your part and they understand that they totally respect that but this person just wants one chance so that you give them a chance to prove themselves how do you see this person right now okay you are done you feel like they keep on saying random things but they never live up to your expectations or what they say so you're deciding to move on you're done with this you're done with this a lot and i feel like you just want to move on from this it's tiring you to the core you don't want to deal with this what is coming next what is coming next once you move on this person will remain stuck they could be a pisces a strong pisces they will remain stuck I'm seeing them, they're trying to manifest you back in their life. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yes, Pisces again. They will keep a close watch on you. No matter how much you push this person away, they're coming back. So the outcome is you ending the situation, but this person is trying their best to revive it again. And they will still, they're still stuck. There's still some sort of issues with the ex going on. And I'm seeing the continuous interference with this third party going on. But they can't, they're not able to close that. Okay, for some reason. We see why. I feel like your person is quite rich. And the ex is feeding over them. Okay, maybe they were married in the past. And uh, this person has to pay the uh, alimony or some money they're linked with like some sort of uh, financial dependency is there and this person is not able to leave that legally i'm seeing yes i feel like your person is deciding to change something change their phone number change their address so that this 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 follower the stalker does not follow them they feel stalked by your by their ex by the person that they've left behind and they're feeling extremely disturbed and they really need you by their side but i'm seeing you moving on from them because it's getting really toxic their ex is toxic whoever this is what is coming next in your life let's see Capricorn. i'm seeing you trying their best to get back with you I'm seeing that they will be uh, reaching out to you through mutual friends if you have any or someone older is going to reach out to you on their behalf telling you to wait. So there's going to be a lot of mess I'm seeing. This will be an Aries. Yes, you're the only one that they want to be with. So have some patience. And the one thing that the one reason why they want you, they want to be with you is because you are carefree. You're not waiting, crying over this person. You're simply yourself. And it's okay if this person is not there. You're still happy. So this person likes your personality. They think you're very strong and self-dependent. And you're able to manage yourself. You're able to balance your life irrespective of this person being in, in your life or not. So this year, someone that is... A wish come true as a dream come true you're the person that they were trying to manifest so this is someone that will not leave you easily they are not letting you go this could be an aries strong aries wow there you go there you go i'm seeing a proposal from someone older someone else is coming towards you and when they see you they will have a sudden crush on you and they will know you're the one so that is why i feel like this person on your mind will be jealous will be jealous i'm seeing you taking this proposal from someone new that's what is happening you might end up blocking this person or they may block you in anger and then unblock you so that's the energy that i'm getting here aquarius is also there very strongly yes this person is stuck on you trust me and i'm seeing you're not listening to them. You just don't want to deal with them because they keep you stuck. They keep you in uh, stagnant energy, okay? 
there is no clarity and which is why I'm seeing you rejecting them, but they are not accepting this rejection. They're still trying their best to contact you. They'll do everything to contact you. I'm seeing you moving on with someone new. Okay. Advice. Guys, this can go either ways, to be honest, okay? This can go either ways. If this has to happen, it will happen. If it doesn't have to happen, it won't happen. All you're supposed to do is keep moving forward. Keep moving straight. If this person is making you wait, you need to still move on. And if they really care and love you, they will sort things out and follow you. But you don't wait for this person just because they're asking you to wait. And things can go this way or that way. You never know. You might not end up with someone you might might end up with the same person but most probably chances are you're ending up with someone new how is this person again linked with the x why is this x coming after you guys what is the reason they can't leave them wheel of fortune they may have kid together and this person is not talking to this person but is paying for the bills for kids and that's how they're linked. And this person cannot get rid of, of their ex. And I'm also seeing some sort of uh, magic they've done on them. Black magic. I don't believe in it. But yes, it can, it can be possible. So this person is vindictive. I feel they're trying to get your person's love back. So that's the only reason why things are not able to end up into uh, something fruitful right so they're not letting them move forward in life this person is always jealous and they're always expecting money from your person so there's a lot of baggage your person is carrying if you want to help them you stay if you don't want to waste your time then someone new is going to take over but there's no no surety that you're going to choose a new person let me see whether you're going to choose a new person you're going to date them, but you will not choose a new person. I feel you will stay confused because the new person is more like bossy, a little dominating and is more attracted than is more in love with you. So they're more like they want to flaunt you, but they're not available emotionally, which is why I'm seeing you stay with this person on your mind right now. So the new love is not as good as you think initially is. You guys may date for a while, but then you will go back to your person. Okay, because there is some connection with the person on your mind. It's something solid. It's something real because it's mutual. So there is mutual love. And how you go, you guys are going to end up with each other if you guys end up with each other. You and the person on your mind. How will this be? There will be a regret. Both of you are going to regret losing each other. There will be a communication after short term separation. And the one, uh, when there is a separation and after the separation, when you guys come back to each other, you guys will hug each other tight and realize your love for each other is not an ordinary one. And you guys are meant to come back to each other. You guys are meant to be with each other. No matter what happens, you guys will see a lot of ups and downs together. And that is what makes this connection even more stronger and lasting. So I'm seeing a temporary separation, feeling like, lost and hurt and missing each other and then coming back to each other i'm seeing this could be an aquarius but yeah uh, i'm seeing them coming to we, to you for sure you guys both of you are going to come to each other i'm seeing the love is very mutual okay next few days what is going to happen between you and this person on your mind yeah, you both are not talking right now. You're avoiding them. And I'm also seeing your person asking for space. And you said something that's still hurting them. You may have been upfront and honest with them. And this person is hurt right now. They don't want to talk. And I'm all, oh my gosh. I told you. I told you. I'm very clear about this, guys. Capricorn. There is a third party that is hurting you and them. And is not letting you guys be with each other. This came again. Exactly. The same thing came again, okay? This and, you know, queen of swords and queen of swords. And yeah, someone that they're trying to get rid of is not 
letting them go and be with you so this is the thing so that's about it so the next few days i'm seeing what is happening is there's a situation where the third party is continuously interfering in your tire you want to give up so that's about it i hope you enjoyed this wonderful read thank you for your time please do like share comment and subscribe i'll see you back again bye